Hello, and in today's video, we're going to continue the Enterprise series by covering how to import KML or KMZ files into Flight Hub 2. Importing KML files into your drone mission software allows you to do things like use Google Earth to accurately map out areas and flight paths, and frequently clients will provide KML files as part of the mission planning process, which can really help streamline the planning process and reduce errors. Unfortunately, if you're using Flight Hub 2 and try to import a KML file, you won't be able to, as Flight Hub 2 expects a KMZ file. But then even if you provide a KMZ file, it will still most likely complain. If you check the manual, you'll find that creating a KMZ file for import into Flight Hub 2 involves a few steps. KMZ files are zipped files that can contain multiple data elements. And Flight Hub 2 expects two additional components, which includes template.kml and the waylines.wpml files. All of these files need to be combined into a single KMZ before importing. Looking those up, these are pretty complicated files, and let's face it, I'm too lazy for that. Fortunately, Pilot 2 isn't as fussy about what it takes in, so a way to avoid all that messy markup coding stuff is to simply import the mission into Pilot 2 as you normally would, and then transfer that over to Flight Hub 2 for editing. So here's how to do that. Start by creating your KML or KMZ file, and then copying that onto the controller. You can do that via an SD card or using a cable. Then on the controller, open Pilot 2 and make sure that you're logged into the project that you want this mission to go into. Now go into the flight route area and select the plus sign at the top right and then import KML KMZ. Navigate to the file, select the flight route type, in this case an area route for mapping, and then select it and go into edit mode. Set the correct drone and camera type and then press save. Then press and hold the mission you just created and it will be selected. Several new buttons will appear at the bottom one of which is a cloud with an upload arrow. Press that. If you switch over to the cloud tab, you'll see that the mission is uploading and once complete, you're now ready to shut down your controller and move over to the Flight Hub 2 application on your PC to continue editing on a nice big screen. And that's it, it's as simple as that. No messing around with editing markup language and any edits you make here will automatically be synchronized with the cloud tab. Anyway, that's it for another week. I hope you found that useful. As always, I love to hear your comments. So feel free to leave a comment or a question and I will see you in the next video.